Ah, yes, piglet puppies. Who could possibly forget the fact that we were right in the middle of making a mixed breed piglet puppy and of course our glorious pink and blue aqua rise, the three-tailed cat returns! Well hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in our laboratory where we are carrying on with our experiments. I think probably a year later we are still doing this and it's still a amazing and we are about to nudge our way up into the 100th dog that we have ever bred which is where I thought our adventures would actually end but to be honest with all of the additional custom content that the wonderful Cali uh, Calinotron I always want to call her Caltron but Calinotron actually is able to create will probably be able to keep going for quite a while especially now my friends that Get Famous has come out who knows maybe we will be in inspired to suggest and create quite a few new fantasy animals. So I hope that all of you are ready for many more adventures in our laboratory and are ready to join me and of course Sketchy, our lab assistant, as we prepare for the next stage of our experimentation with puppies. I rolled a dice and we actually did roll for dogs. So today we are going to be making a new dog, a mate for John, who will hopefully help pass on this pig nose because it is is absolutely precious uh, and we also are going to re-roll Sketchy's hair because you guys were so freaked out that I forgot to re-roll her hair so don't worry we're gonna be uh, going ahead and changing her hair first thing so many of you were so worried about it and I, I think she deserves to have a good hair day you know before she has to go ahead and age into an adult and take on all those adult responsibilities plus we now have access to the get famous hairs uh, which I don't know because this isn't really a episode about Get Famous if I have to say it, but thank you very much to EA Game Changers for providing the early access code so that I would be able to test out Get Famous and see what it's all about. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that in these episodes, but just to cover my rump, let's do it. But yeah, we do have some cool new hairs that we might be able to have Sketchy go ahead and have too. So let's give her a new look. We're going to be rolling the dice seven times. As always, we use the numbers one through 12 because it's always great to add a little bit of a wider range Ooh. of random abilities into your life. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, one of the, the outdoor retreat hairs. That is so cute. All right, Sketchy, I like your new hairstyle. It definitely suits the adult version of you. All right, so Sketchy is now an adult and it is time. Let's go ahead, John, we are going to have, oh, Dawson, holy cow. You are definitely unique looking puppers for sure. But let's go ahead and have some of our puppers head on out. Cora, it is your time. You can finally go play in the puppy play yard. Aqua Rise, don't panic. We are going to be dealing with cats in the future, I promise. Uh, Kara, oh, Kara, you had the like one little purple eye too. Gosh, you are very cute as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. She's gonna go play out in the puppy play yard. Whoa, and Peach! Peach, I totally forgot about you, but you're really cool. You know what, let's keep Peach and let's keep John because they're siblings. And we're gonna see like what kind of child Peach might have, uh, not as one of the main lines of dogs, but I'm curious if we mix her genetics with the same dog that we're gonna be mixing John's genetics, how would a set of puppy piglet siblings have similar but different pup offspring? I think that'd be really fun to see. But in order to make those pup offspring, we need to make a brand new dog. So let's do this. No, no, I don't wanna make a new dog that way, John. Now is not the time. Okay, let's see, add pet. Add dog. <gasps> wow! You're really cool looking just right off the bat. But okay guys, so we are going to be randomizing our breeds eight times to pick the purebred dog that we are going to be basing our new creation here in the lab off of. So I hope you have your Petri dishes ready. This is gonna be very exciting. And of course, as always, if you guys actually have one of the dog breeds that we end up actually using, I love hearing your stories about your pets. It really, really, brightens my day. So let's see if any of you have one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
thing. I, this is like a chihuahua sheepdog mix. Um, I have to keep him. Like, okay, okay, don't take this the wrong way, guys, but he's so weird looking that he's fantastic. I, I have to keep this little one. So welcome to a not properly part of our dog family tree, but I have to invite you into my life because I don't know if I could ever randomize something that looks like this again. Bran Feather. So welcome to Bran Feather. Thank you so much for your kind comment in our previous episodes. Uh, I hope you don't mind being like one of the most amazing Chihuahua mixed breeds that I think I have ever laid eyes on. This is fantastic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and you are going to be, let's make Make you smart and let's make you a little bit of a sleuth like you really get into things and let's also make you very loyal like maybe you like one owner and and that's your thing look at this dog what okay I have no regrets because this is this is kind of amazing and not the dog that we were actually going to be making but what a fantastic looking chihuahua. We're gonna have to see what Peach's children look like with that puppers in the future. Back to what we were doing. Oh, this puppers is ready for an adventure. Look at that, that's so cute. Uh, so that was four, I think. Uh, and it's five, six, seven, and finally, oh. <laughs> I love your face. Eight. All right, here we go. We are working with a dingo. Wow. I'm pretty sure that is from Australia. So this is going to be a special dog for our wonderful Australian friends in our community. So let me know if you guys have had a dingo. I was under the impression that they were kind of a wild dog, like kind of feral-ish. But I, I guess you could probably have them as a pet as well. Uh, if that's not the case, do let me know. But we are going to be working with a dingo base and we are going to be mixing it 11 times with the other genes that we have available. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow, hang on. Wow. Wow, note to self, Dingo and Poodle looks really good. Actually, the Dingo facial structure is gorgeous. Wow, this is gonna be so exciting. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, so this is gonna be the puppers that we are going to be working with. I would like to introduce all of you to our 94th dog here in the canine experiments of our laboratory. And this is Alexa. So Alexa, thank you so much for your kind comment in our previous episodes and welcome to the family. We are part dingo, part who knows what, and we are now going to change everything about you except for this beautiful facial structure that you have got here. It it kind of looks like the default facial structure that we've noticed a lot of the mixed breed dogs end up having, but it's a lot more pointed. So I can see some of the dingo characteristics on this dog for sure. So we're gonna change, let's go ahead and change the ears. And we're gonna roll that 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Oh, that's really cute. I actually love half flop ear. It's one of my favorites. Then we're gonna change the nose three times. One, two, three. Oh, 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 hmm. <laughs> it's like she ran into something. Poor, poor Alexa, oh my goodness. Uh, and now we're going to change the eyes five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it is like she ran into something and now she's like staring at her nose. Like what happened? <laughs> so cute, oh my gosh. All right, and oh body shape body shape. That's right. That's right. All right. So body shape uh, nine times one two three four five six seven eight nine a little bit more of a petite look Oh, wow. You know, she's already turning into a very unique looking dog. Now, the tail is going to be quite interesting. Is she going to end up having the skeleton base in which case I don't know, That I don't know what to do. I think we'll only do the skeleton if we get the skeleton body pet clothing. Uh, and if it's skeleton tail, we'll just keep re-rolling, perhaps. Let me know what you guys think. I think that's fair, because I feel like skeleton dog should be super rare. And I feel like if we do end up with skeleton dog, I'm actually, here's what happens if we get skeleton dog. If we get skeleton dog with pet clothing, or I guess with tail, 
if we end up with a skeleton dog, I will re-roll the coat color, but do it as a mystery, like off camera, closing my eyes, re-roll the coat color so we will have no idea what the dog actually looks like because it'll just look like a skeleton to us. And then we'll have puppies with them. So if we end up with skeleton dog characteristics and a skeleton dog, we'll have a mystery coat patterning, which I think would be really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and roll the tail nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look at that! We have a little horse tail! Oh, so a really big fluffy tail on Alexa. So far, no skeleton dog, which is probably good for her. Let's go ahead and change all of her coat colors. We are going to be changing them seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, nice! Wow, Alexa, you're turning out really beautiful! We're gonna change this color three times. One, two, three. We're gonna change the next color five times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're ending up with the really dark puppers. Uh, and eight times on the last color. One. <gasps> wow! Wow! Wow, Alexa, wow! Beautiful! I love it! Holy cow! If only we could keep it. Two, three, four, five. Okay! So this is what Alexa looks like so far. I think she's quite beautiful, but holy moly, having that coloring with the white was really impressive. And we're gonna change the fur eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is actually one of my least favorite fur types, but if Alexa wants to be a sleek and silky fur type, it's it, I love the body, it's the face. I kind of want to be able to see the face a little differently than what the part is, but she looks beautiful. I take it back. She really looks lovely. Uh, like absolutely gorgeous lady, ready to see what kind of specialized genes she might end up with. So here's where things usually get very exciting, my friends. The beaks, the horns, the tails, the fangs, the skeleton body, the wings. What are we going to end up going five times with Alexa today? One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see. Oh, we lost an eye? I think we lost an eye. Why couldn't we have anything more exciting like these antlers happen to her? Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and find the clothes. There's one piece of clothing off. There's the other piece of clothing off. Oh, I guess we didn't lose an eye. Alexa, somehow you managed to get through that whole thing without like changing at all. That's kind of amazing. All right, well, she looks lovely if you ask me. Let's go ahead and do her characteristics. So she is going to be friendly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Playful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a glutton. So she's a friendly, playful glutton who is now going to be mates with John and we get to see nine of their puppies together. Amazingly, she didn't end up with a single specialized trait, but John has those little puppy pig noses that he can pass on to his children. So let's see what their puppers are going to look like. I actually think Alexa's quite charming. We haven't had a dog that really looks like her ever before, I don't think. So mixing those genes together. <gasps> cute child you just had with a mystery dog. I'm gonna keep him. I was, I, I, I can't help it <laughs> because I have a thing for spotty animals. We're gonna keep Alexa's mystery son. He's gonna be, uh, his name is gonna be Frisk from Officially Frisk. So thank you very much for your kind comments. I hope that this is not a cat, but uh, it is a multicolored dog to be named after your cat Frisk. So I hope that's gonna be okay. okay. We're gonna have him be active and friendly and playful to go with the Frisky name. Cause oh my goodness, he's so cute. And let's keep going. Uh, since we're on the final dog that we can actually have, I do wanna see what would happen if Peach had a child with Brand Feather. What kind of, okay, pretty normal. Wow, actually kind of cute. What? What? How do we take those two dogs and it, oh, and end up with such cute puppies? Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right, yeah, Peach, Brand Feather. You guys could have some really interesting puppers together, that's for sure. But I can't keep any of them, so moving on, let's go ahead and have John. 
and we're going to have Frisk have their children. And this would actually be their first child. Oh, not Frisk, what am I doing? John and Alexa have their children. And this would actually be their first child. And she's actually really cute. What? I was not ready for that. Apparently combining those two makes a really weird looking dog, but it's also really adorable. Uh, I can't remember. Did I say nine times? I think I said nine times. So this would be their first son. Uh, are, are we going to have a son or a daughter? It's going to be a girl for the next one. Uh, I already have the name pulled up. But so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> wow, she's beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. I would like to welcome the 95th dog into our family tree. This is Maple Tea Tree. Welcome into the family. Apparently you've already randomized with Troublemaker, Friendly, and Hairy traits, which you know what? We'll totally keep those. You are absolutely beautiful. Look at this puppers. Look at her. I love her. Can I give her possibly the pig nose? I don't think pig nose is actually something that can be passed on to big dogs. Yeah, it is not something that's passed on to big dogs. So the reign of the puppy piglets is now over. But I have to say that John did leave his mark with the lovely coat that the lovely maple tea tree has. And I actually love her nose. She's really quite charming. So all right, guys, that wraps up our experiments for today. But next time, we may have maple tea tree have a child of her own and push us even closer to our 100th dog of our random pets genetics challenge. Or we may get really lucky with the dice and have our three-tailed cat have kittens. We'll have to see what happens next time. But be sure to leave a like in order to clean all of our petri dishes and prepare the lab for our next experiment. If you haven't yet joined us, be sure to subscribe to sign up to be able to become a lab assistant and make sure you leave those comments so that you can let me know the names that you would like me to use for the animals and for upcoming lab assistants because Sketchy is going to be an elder next time so we're going to need to be prepared. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.